Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for LightScript.com. IndyCar driver Charlie Kimball is racing to the finish line this season, but initially it was a bumpy ride. In 2007, he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Charlie recently shared his story with me about how he's equipped his vehicle and his pit crew to handle his health needs. I know you've been living successfully with type 1 diabetes, but take us back and tell us when you first noticed something wasn't right with your health. Well, I'd actually gone into the doctor with an unrelated skin, skin rash back in 2007. I was racing in Europe, and when I went in and mentioned I'd been kind of thirsty, I was drinking 8, 10, 12 bottles of water a night, and he had me get on the scales, and I'd realized I'd lost 25 pounds in just five days. And at that point, I thought something might be more serious. And when he said diabetes, I went, great, what's that? I had very little understanding and knowledge of what it was, what it meant, if I'd ever be able to drive a race car again. And what did the doctor say to that? Because it is a concern of you're out there and you're out there for not just half an hour driving, you're out there for a couple hours sometimes. Yeah, it, it can be a challenge, but the doctor said you may have to change how you go about it, but having diabetes shouldn't slow you down in your pursuit of your dream. And to me, everything I had to do, whatever it meant to get back in a race car was worth it because there's no place I'd rather be than at the racetrack. So you did take some time off that season. So what did you do in that time off to take care of your health? Well, I figured out what diabetes meant for me as a person, managing my blood sugar, my nutrition, understanding carb counts and insulin doses, checking my blood sugar, and then how that was gonna work into racing, what adjustments we need to make in the car, um, during the race, my race preparation, all of those things, and, and how to bring in some unique tools to make that uh, a possibility. Well, I love this because you've customized your vehicle. So tell us some of the customizations that you've actually done. Well, my Indy car is a little different than everyone else's because my body is. Uh, the first thing is I wear a continuous glucose monitor on my body and it transmits to a display that plugs into the car's data system. So on my electronic steering wheel, on my dash, I have speed, lap time, oil pressure, blood sugar, water temperature, gear, my car and body data right there together. Now, if my blood sugar starts to go low, because in Indy cars, we don't have power steering, we don't have power brakes, it's really physical. If my blood sugar starts to go low, I have two drink bottles, one of water for hydration, and a second one that has orange juice. If I need to, I can flip a valve, bring my sugars up, and I don't have to stop. That's incredible. Now, I know your pit crew is also trained to sort of recognize if something's going wrong with your health. How are they trained? Well, there's a member of the Novo Nordisk Chip Ganassi Racing Team that is watching my blood sugar. So they keep an eye on it, just like they keep an eye on the car. And if they need to, they let me know. Um, now, if that orange juice doesn't make the effect of my blood sugar that we need, during a pit stop, my inside front ch tire changer has the ability, after he changes the tire, to give me an injection and either bring my blood sugar down if I need it, or a different injection that would bring my blood sugar up, uh, just to keep me safe. Now, knock on wood, I've never needed the orange juice during a race, let alone any uh, help from my team. I was just going to ask, I'm like, was there ever a situation? No, you guys travel so much, and I always know that my nutrition level goes way down when I'm traveling. How do you maintain your nutrition level? Well, for me, nutrition's a big part of, of my diabetes management. Coupled with working out, training when I can, making good nutrition choices is key. Um, it's, it's about making the harder choice to get the right food um, and being a little more prepared. I, I think one of the things in my diabetes management is I have to plan ahead. So when I'm traveling, I make sure I have healthy snacks or I know what airports I'm going to. As much as I travel, I know a lot of the airports so I know where I can get a good food option. That's so smart. And have you noticed a difference in your racing since you're paying more attention to your health, your fitness levels and everything else? I've always said I think I'm a better athlete because of my diabetes rather than despite it because I do pay more attention. I listen to my body now more than I ever have before. When I was diagnosed, I was in my early 20s and, and I thought I was 10 feet tall and bulletproof. And now, as I get older, I get my eyes checked every year. I make sure that if I'm not feeling well, I go see a doctor and figure out if it's diabetes management or what I call normal person illness. <laughs> um, but at the same time, it's, it's a big part of my life. I, I, manage it every day if I'm at the racetrack or at home or in the gym or speaking to groups of kids with diabetes. Well and it hasn't you've been so successful I love that your first race back you came in second place it hasn't slowed you down whatsoever. Exactly for me that race reminded me that not only was I a driver with diabetes for the first time but I was still a competitor I didn't want to be a driver with diabetes running around in the back of the field I want to be up front I want to be winning races I want to be a racing driver first and have diabetes just along for the ride. Well, I love that. And, you know, I, I know you've achieved so much, but what's your next goal? Well, 
This year is the 100th running of the Indianapolis 500, and 2011 I made history as the first licensed driver with diabetes to race in the Indy 500. 2013 became the first driver with diabetes to ever win an IndyCar race. I think this year our goals are to win races, uh, be in the championship fight, and, and be in the hunt at the 100th running of the Indy 500. I like it. I think that's really good. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And if people want to keep up to speed with me, if you'll pardon the pun, <laughs> they can follow me on Twitter at Race With Insulin or go to racewithinsulin.com. <laughs>